Great to meet you. Be good. No. Sorry guys, I just noticed that I didn't have my mic on. Sorry, I'm back, I'm on. Sorry about that. Um, Josh asked, as I get things going, you know what, I'll just repeat everything I was saying with my mic off. Okay, so, I'm in Lock Modan, completing a couple of quests. Um, I'm at level 34 right now. I'm hoping to be at level 35 within the next 35 to 45 minutes. I can only play about 35 or 45 minutes tonight because... And got a promotion today at Hasbro, so we're very excited. So we're going to go out and celebrate tonight when she gets off work, which should be in the next, you know, 35 to 45 minutes. But until then, I'm going to get some questing here done. I just picked up a couple of quests from those dwarves to kill these trogs. So I need to kill a whole bunch of trogs. I need to kill uh, 12 trogs and eight, collect eight trog stone tooths. I guess I got to take them from their bodies or something. So, there's my first victim of the day. Turn on my shield. Go sick him. Tell my guy to start attacking, and attacking I go. Oops. Maybe I should shoot again. And you are dead. Do you have teeth? Stone splinter blade, no teeth. Um, Anyway, so now let me go to uh, Josh Crichton, uh, who writes, uh, Favorite Disney songs, Me, Strangers Like Me by Phil Collins from Tarzan. He Lives in You from Lion King. Golden Dreams from American Adventures at Epcot. Well, I, uh, my favorites are a little bit, are kind of standard, which is fine. Um, the song I actually like a lot from, I'll talk while I'm attacking this dude. The song I really like from um, Tarzan is another Phil Collins song, um, You'll Be In My Heart. I love You'll Be In My Heart. I, I just, I love that song. Um, so that's my favorite. Then, I mean, it's a little standard to say, but it's absolutely true. My favorite Disney song is still um, Circle of Life. Circle of Life from Lion King is my all-time favorite Disney song. And uh, I know, again, I know that's a little bit of a, it seems like a cop-out because everybody says that song. I get it, but the truth is it is my favorite Disney song. So I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and then just I just love a whole bunch. I mean, everybody loves... Ah, okay, the, they are giving up teeth. Everybody loves Disney music for sure, but yeah, so um, Circle of Life is my all-time favorite. And from Tarzan, you'll be in my heart. So, yes. All right, let me I gotta kill a few more trogs here. Oh, and I forgot to turn my shield on because I'm an idiot. Come on, die before he hits me again. Okay, turn back on my shield. All right, I need to kill... Still a bunch more of these things. Well, that's a tribal shaman. I don't need to kill that. You go get him, minion. When he gets to closer, I'll get him. Okay, and he's in range. Ok, 
Okay. I love freezing them in place. I don't know. I get a big kick out of that. Okay, so I've killed five so far. Here's another one. Go get a minion. Or I'll just fire two. Alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Does he have a tooth? He has a tooth! Yes! Alright. What's the next question here? Um, we can't hear John, just the game. Also, uh, 11 is greater than 12. Oh, Incredibles 1 is better than Incredibles 2. I'm saying, I mean, yeah, hey, there's no wrong answer with that. I'm starting to think, like I said, I need to see Incredibles 2 a couple more times. But I'm, I'm starting to think I like Incredibles 2 more. But the great thing about both of these movies is that there is absolutely no wrong answer. Right? If you like Incredibles 1 more, that's certainly not the wrong answer. Incre if you like Incredibles 2 more, it's certainly not the wrong answer. They're both amazing. I mean, they're both really, really good. Oh good, he has a tooth as well. So I need to kill five more of these creatures and collect four more teeth. Fortunately, there's a lot of them around here. It's making it kind of easy, which I don't mind easy. And he's in range, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. Um, all right. Let's see. Nobody, no one writes, did you say you finally saw Hereditary? Any thoughts? Loved it. Loved it. It's, I, I will say, I think I got my expectations a little too high. Like, I didn't walk out of it going, oh my God, best film of the year like some people did. Which is fine. I mean, that's totally fine. But I, I liked it quite a bit. I thought it was great. It's intense, too. Like, it's way more atmosphere. And that's one of the things that I dig. I dig movies that are like... Here's the thing. Horror, Asian horror films understand that atmosphere is more important than jump scares. Atmosphere is far more terrifying. And I love that a lot of Asian horror films get that. And I feel like... Um, Hereditary gets that as well. So I dug it quite a bit. I was late to the party and everything. And again, I, I didn't... I don't think it's in my... like it's, it's not in my top five favorite films of the year or anything like that so far. But I did enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Ben Rayner writes, Hooked on Gifted. Episode 4. I love Gifted. Now, granted, I'm a little bit biased because Anne's friend, uh, Jamie Chung is in that show. She plays Blink. And uh, we love Jamie. She's great. But I'll be honest with you, I, if you guys remember, when I first saw them advertising Gifted at Comic-Con a couple years ago, I was like, well, this looks dumb. Um, and I honestly didn't have a lot of hope for it, but checked it out because Anne's friend is in it. And I really liked it. I mean, I liked the Gifted a lot. And by the time the season ended, I'm like, oh no, there's no more episodes. Like, I was really bummed that there weren't any more episodes. So, I'm looking forward to season two. So, I was very happy to find out that it did get renewed for season two. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. I'm glad you're on the show. You're on to the show now. Okay, so I've killed all the ones I've needed to kill. But I need to kill at least a couple more just to get one more tooth from them. Because I need the teeth. Anyway. Um, let's see here. Hopefully this guy will be the last one I need to kill. Then I can turn in these quests. Then I'm hoping once I turn these quests in, then it'll open up some new areas for me to go to, because there's still a lot of this world I have not been able to go to. And there it is, got the tooth. Okay. And both missions are ready to turn in, so I will hop on my horse. Which way do I gotta go here? Go this way and turn in the quests. All right, let me go on to the next one. History Soup writes, I think Picard um, et al. will be in the animated show. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what History Soup's talking about, a little bit earlier today, um, we talked about on the John Campus show earlier this morning that Alex Kurtzman is now kind of not only show running Star Trek Discovery, He's like going to be the overall overlord for all things Star Trek universe uh, on television. And he kind of is too for 
the movies as well because he's been a writer or an executive producer on all the Star Trek movies in the J.J. Abrams era. But anyway, Alex Kurtzman, Alex Kurtzman is going to be the high overlord of all things Star Trek. I got the hiccups now. Of all things Star Trek on television. Now, in that report, they said there are three particular projects in development. These aren't for sure, but these are the three projects they hear in development. Number one, a Starfleet Academy show. Number two, a con series based on Khan Noonien Singh, who is played by Ricardo Montalban in the original Star Trek, played by Benedict Cumberbatch in the new movies. And then an animated show with no details. So I said on the show this morning that my theory... Oh, and, and then after that, reports came out that, Jean, uh, that Jean-Luc Picard, that Patrick Stewart may be returning as Jean-Luc Picard in one of these series. So I said my theory is that he, that Jean-Luc Picard is going to be like Dumbledore. He's going to be the headmaster of Starfleet Academy. Now, I, I don't know that, um, but that is my guess. Okay, turn that, oh yeah, and it leads to a bigger thing. I gotta, I gotta go back there, I think, and kill some big dude. Okay, I'll accept that mission. And turn in this quest. Maybe he'll give me another one, too. Okay, no. But, I'm this close to level 35 now, guys. That, oh, wait a second. Did I not accept this guy's quest? Oh, it's like kill a whole bunch of different dudes. Alright, I'll accept that. Why not? Um... So yeah, anyway, my theory was that Picard is going to be like headmaster of Starfleet Academy. But History Soup's theory here um, is that... I gotta check my phone, sorry. History Soup's theory... Okay. Uh, I'm just texting Ann. Lesson, life lesson, guys. Always return texts from the wife. Don't put those off. Always return the texts from the wife. Little life lesson. Okay. So, um, but History Soup seems to think it might be in the animated series, which is totally possible because that's easy work, right? For Patrick Stewart, show up one day and do eight episodes worth of voices in one day and then you're done. Okay, now, is he, yep, these were both back in that same damn area. Okay, back on the horse and head back to the exact same spot I was just at. Which is fine. Which is fine. I should clear level 35 in this round now. Uh, okay. Let me get another question here. Uh, Josh Crichton writes, You Canadians are weird. You guys eat beaver tails. I can tell you right now, I have never eaten a beaver tail in my life. Uh, have you and Anne had one before? No, never. Watched a video called 10 Delicious Global Snacks You Should Try, and it came in at 9 would you recommend, to, I've never, I don't, n number one, I have never had beaver tail. Number two, I don't know anybody that's ever had beaver tail. So maybe there's some obscure corner of Canada where people eat beaver tail. I have never seen it. I've never experienced it. I've never heard of it. So, like I'm sure there's some back corner of Wisconsin where people eat cow eyeballs. That doesn't mean Americans eat cow eyeballs. It's just maybe there are some people that do it and try it. But, yeah, I can honestly say I have never had... Am I going in the right place? Wait a second. I need... Okay, I'm going to need to go this way. Oh, damn, it's in a cave, I bet. I hate fighting in caves. Okay, let me kill this guy. Just because he's going to cause problems for me if I don't kill him right now. Okay. Now, is this a cave? And it is a cave. I hate fighting in caves. I hate going in caves. But whatever. It's what I gotta do. It's what I gotta do. 
Go get a minion. I'll just stay here by the cave door. Because I feel safer. Um, yeah, so, no, honestly, full, full-fledged full honesty. I've never heard of Beaver Tail, like, ever. And uh, I'm pretty Canadian. Okay, phone buzzed again, which means it's probably the wife. Again, guys, life lesson. Always take text from the wife. Okay, wife is going to be home in about a half hour, so I still got a half hour to play. All right, here we go. Um, all right, okay, I'm supposed to kill Bone Snappers, so I'll kill this guy here. At least I'll try to kill this guy. And maybe I should turn my shield back on. All right, great. Now apparently there's some big bad guy I gotta kill. Okay, this might be him in here. Is this him? No, he's just a shaman. Oh, what the hell? What the hell was that? I'm haunted apparently. What haunted me, I don't know, but I'm haunted. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't mean to use that. Oh, well. See, the problem, that Ice Lance weapon I just used on that guy, it's very powerful and it'll kill a guy in one shot. The problem is, it's got a cooldown of one minute. And I got, apparently, this gnaw mug, this gnaw mug, um, And I just know he's going to be really big, so I need, I want to be able to have my big powers available to me. And apparently this guy is right around the corner. Now how do I get down there? I guess i got to go around here and down, turn my shield back on. Uh, okay, I'll take this guy out first. Oops, that was the wrong weapon to throw. Oh well. Okay. Back down this way. Kill this guy. This time I'll use the right weapon. Nice. Okay. I think that's the big guy. Nope, that's just another bone snapper. Okay. I'll go kill that bone. Okay, let's get to the next question here. Um, D. Wathers writing, John, have you seen the... Where'd it go? Have you seen Cyberpunk 2077 trailer yet? I have not. Nope, I haven't. And I should, because not only you, I've got a bunch of people raving about this damn thing. So I am very curious to check it out, but I have not checked it out yet. Probably tonight, I'll uh, I'll probably pop it open tonight and take a look at it. Okay, is there anybody behind under me? No. Oops, I forgot to loop that body. Okay. Alright, things are about to get real. I'm getting closer to the big bad guy. Get to him in a minute. Minion starts shooting. Turn back on my shield. I gotta return on my shield every minute. Okay, loot this guy. Um, but no, so no. But actually, you know, there's a ton of stuff from E3 I still haven't checked out yet. And I very much need to. And that Cyberpunk 2077, or 2077 is definitely one of them. Because like I said, a whole bunch of people have been talking about it. Is this the guy? Nope, that's still not the guy. It's got to be around here somewhere. Let the guy draw him. And this should finish him off. Nice. Okay. Oops. This guy's like right here.
Oh, he's throwing shit at me. <laughs> oh, he knocked me back, too. Okay, see that gold dot that's on the map? That I, I'm guessing that gold dot is where the big bad guy is, so I am keep getting closer and closer to him. But it, that's fine, because my other quest is i got to keep killing these little guys along the way, too. I still have to kill, like, another nine of these little guys. Okay, got him. Alright, what's the next one? Uh, Cypher1 sends in a big super chat and says, Have fun and congrats to Anne. Oh, thank you so much, Cypher. That's really nice of you. Yeah, Anne's really happy. She was all excited. She tried to text me. She texted me while I was in the dentist chair today. I went, Whoa, that's awesome, baby. That's so awesome. So I'm, yeah, I'm trying to text with her. So she's been all excited about getting home tonight so we can go out and celebrate. And this is a, it's a big deal, this promotion. And I've been, you know, she's been wanting it for a while. And she got it. And she's all happy. And I'm all happy for her. So thank you so much, Cypher. That's really nice of you to say that uh, very much. Thank you. Um, okay. Is that... Oh, no. That's just another shaman. Alright, and I need to kill more shamans, so... Let him get a little bit closer. Okay. My minion's got great range with his weapons. Like, his, his blast has, like, way more range than mine does. Okay. Retrigger my shield... Another bone snapper, okay. Oh, it says the target's not in line of sight. I guess he's... Damn it. Oh, do I gotta, like, run right up to this guy? Fine. Hi. Wanna punch me in the face? Hello, minion. <laughs> yeah, hello, you can get involved any time now. Any time would be great. Yes, okay. And that is also not the big bad guy, but that's okay. I still need to kill a couple more of these dudes. Okay. Hopefully this guy will die before he even gets to us. And yes, he does. Okay, I need one more shaman and one more bone snapper. And I'm good. Okay. Um, ZMG Ruler writes, What do you think about investing in the stock market? Um, I've done some stock market stuff. I've actually had some pretty modest, nice little success with the stop stock market before. Um, it's a risk. Where is this dude? Oh, okay. There's another shaman. Um, I actually, yeah, I play around with stock market a little bit now and th now and then. I do. Um... I've been using a lot of apps lately for doing stock market investing. Like, I've been using, um... Oh, uh, crap. What's the name of the app that I use? Um, what is the name of the app that I use? It's like a leaf. Um, it's not Acorn. I, I use Acorn for other things. Um, I can't remember the name of the app that I use. But yes, so every once in a while, I do a little bit of... Uh, you can see an email from Anne, a notification... Anne is, Anne is actually Dungeon Master of our new Dungeons and Dragons group. And we're starting it uh, next weekend. We were going to start this weekend, but VidCon is this weekend. And one of our players has got to be at VidCon. So we're going to put off on that. Ah, oh, here's the bad guy, finally. Woo, he looks nasty. All right. Can I see him? I can see him. Shield rebuffed. Click him. Go get him, minion. And I will Ice Lance him. Oh, he's tough. Holy crap, he's tough. Come on, die, die, die. Oh, my ice lance wasn't enough to kill him. Uh, I was able to kill him after that, though. Great. Okay, I still need to kill one more bone snapper. Is that too tall? Is this too high for me to jump down? Like, will I die if I jump down here? Um, I better not risk it. I'll walk around. <laughs> I would hate to go through all that 
just to die jumping down. Uh, okay. And again with the spiders. I hate the spiders. Okay, what do I need to kill? I still need a bone snapper, and that's a bone snapper. So I will kill him. Well, and that did that. My bone snapping is done. Crap, and another guy just appeared here. Alright, I'm just gonna... Did I leave something up here? No, I thought I left a guy down here, but I did not. Okay, now I just gotta find my way out of here. You know what? The easiest thing for me to do is just do this. I hate fighting it. One of the reasons I hate fighting in caves is because you gotta fight your way in, fight, 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 and then by the time you've gotten to your goal, Everything's respawned behind you, and now you gotta go out and fight your way out behind, too. Which sucks. I hate that. Okay. So, what I prefer to do is just, uh, teleport out of there. And then take a horse. So, I got, I got a little bit of a horse ride, but you know what? It's gonna be a lot faster making this horse ride than trying to fight my way out of the cave. And a lot less irritating. Plus, it gives me a chance to go to a next question. Uh, Darth Impact writes, Hey John, uh, do you hear, are you here they signed a prelim deal for the Fox Disney deal? They haven't agreed. It, no, 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 they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Look, Fox and Disney had a prelim deal when Disney made their $52 billion offer. But that's irrelevant. It doesn't mean anything. Nothing means anything until the Fox shareholders vote. And that's happening on July 10th. Comcast still has plenty of time to come in with a new offer. And actually, I'm going to do a story about this on the John Campion Show tomorrow morning. But there is now, um, industry and market analysts are saying that Comcast, they believe Comcast is preparing a $79 billion offer. Because Disney's news, news, new offer is $71.3 billion. But this whole thing going around that... Fox has accepted their offer. That's, that's misleading. That's misleading completely. Fox accepted the $52 billion offer from Disney too, but it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything until the Fox shareholders vote on it. And that's not happening until uh, July 10th. As of right now, they could change the date of that. But right now it's July 10th. Comcast is still able to come in and put in a higher offer. So no, this is not... This is not anywhere close to being done. It's not done yet. Um, let's see. KW Gare writes, AMC deal has me nervous. What if AMC keeps this deal just long enough to put Cinemia and Movie Pass in the grave, then kills their subscription service? Well, they would be running the risk of pissing off all their customers if they did that. Now, they could run it for six months and say maybe increase the price to 25 bucks. And by the way, this deal would be totally worth it at 40 bucks a month. I would totally pay 40 bucks a month for this deal. Now, I shouldn't say that out loud because I don't want to give AMC any ideas, but what they're offering is stupid good. Three movies a week, 12 movies, you can buy online, you get discounts at the concession stand, you can book your seats in advance, all that kind of stuff. And like the average movie ticket cost at my local AMC theater is like 13, 14, 15 bucks. So like 20 bucks a month is ludicrous. Like just ludicrous. So worth, so even if they up the price a bit, it's still more than worth it. Still totally worth it. Okay, let me turn in these quests and turning in these quests should bump me up to level 35. 
Are these legs any leggings? Uh, yes, the leggings are good. I'm going to pick up those leggings for sure. And boom! You've reached level 35! That was my goal today, and I have done it. Level 35, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see. Oh, these boots will do good for me, too. All right, complete this quest. 7,500. Very nice. I'm very happy about that. Okay, let me... Um, let's see. Um, but anyway, uh, KW, I, I wouldn't... Because, first of all, look, Movie Pass. let's be honest. Movie Pass was going out of business soon anyway, right? I mean, we've all known that. We've known that for a long time. Movie Pass is not long for this world. They're going out of business pretty soon anyway. So... AMC didn't need to make this deal. AMC didn't need to create this deal to put MoviePass under. MoviePass was going under anyway. Um, and if they do, like in six months or a year, bump the price a bit, come on, it's still so worth it. Like, I think this deal is worth 40 bucks a month. I would pay 45 bucks a month because that would be just three movie tickets. And I can go see 12 movies with all the advantages. It's great. So I don't think AMC is going to go anywhere because look, PR is important, and if they just did this deal and then MoviePass went out of business and then they got rid of the program, they would have a revolt. Their customers would revolt and everybody would start going to Regal Cinemas, right? So, I don't think this deal is going to go anywhere. I think this deal is here. I think it's here to stay. Maybe they bump the price of it a little bit later on, but even then, that's still fair. Actually, it's more than fair. MoviePass had an unsustainable business model. AMC's is sustainable. Uh, let's see. Um, ZMG Ruler writes, uh, what is the origin of the stereotype of Canada's A? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what the origin is of that. Now, this is interesting. I don't have any more quests here. Let me look at the map. I have no more quests here. None. Oh, there's one way over there. Far Strider Lodge. So... I will hop on my horse, go north, and then uh, take a flight over to that lodge because there's a new quest over there. Uh, but honestly, I don't know where it comes from. I mean, it's a true stereotype. There is a lot of Canadians who say A a lot. I mean, just watch hockey player interviews. A lot of us and a lot of A's. Well, you know... Um, the, the, we got the bounces, eh? And we got, uh, you know, when you get the puck bounces your way, eh? You, you're you're, you're going to have an advantage. But, you know, you just you give 100% and then um, and hope the good things happen, eh? I mean, it's, it's just, it's a true thing. There's a lot of A. I mean, not as much as the stereotype suggests, but A is definitely a Canadian thing. I actually don't say it that much. You know what? Honestly, I've never said it that much, which is weird. Uh, cause I'm a hockey playing, you know, like Canada flag waving as much as it gets. And yet even I haven't said, okay, where do I need to go? I'm going to far or far strider lodge. Okay. So I'll talk to this guy. Take me to far strider lodge. So that's going to fly out there, but it's a good question. I would be interested myself as a Canadian to know what was the origin of all that. Okay. Uh, Green Arrow 07 writes, Surprise, the U.S. is just getting these AMC-style cinema cards. England has had these for almost 10 years now. So why is America so behind? It's ground zero. Well, I think because, I mean, really, the cinemas don't want to do this. It ultimately means a little bit less money for the cinemas. I think now what they're realizing is only now that's coming around. It's like, hey, unless we now unless we do something like this, we're going to lose a lot more money. But for the last 10 years, that hasn't been the case. So there hasn't really been a need for a service like that here until now. And now there is. And that's why we're getting it, uh, seeing it. But yeah, I've been, I've been keeping my eye on the, what was it called? A Cineworld or something like that in the UK? I've had my eye on that for a long time and been very, very jealous. Been very jealous of that deal you guys have had over there. But the industry here just never felt the need for it. Now, apparently, they do. So now we're getting it. All right. Uh, Abram Treadwell writes, Yesterday, I made 600 gold from about 125 light leather. Very nice, man. Uh, couldn't believe it. Now it's down to 75 silver 
for one leather. Damn it. Yeah, see, that's the interesting thing about the economy in Worldcraft is that one day, a light leather could be worth two gold. The next day, the light leather could be worth 75 silver, which is a lot less, by the way, in case you don't know. It's crazy. It fluctuates. So, like, right now, I'm having a hard time selling heavy leather, leather for one gold a piece. Whereas a week ago, I probably could have sold it for four or five pieces of gold per leather. I've got 90 leather just stacked up. Here, let me uh, pull it open here. Um, not that one. This one. Yeah, I got, well, I got 90 medium leather here, which before was going for two or three gold a piece. I'm having trouble selling it for even one gold a piece right now. And in a few days, maybe it'll sell for five gold pieces per one. I don't know. I got seven light leathers, 14 heavy leathers, which should be more valuable. But I'm just sitting on that waiting for the, the market price to go back up. Talking about stock market, there's a little bit of stock market playing in World of Warcraft too. Um, all right. Let's see here. See who's given this mission out. Safety Warden Pipsy. Oh, she's just a wee little thing, kind of like my wife. Uh, all right. Salutations. Collect six stashable seeds. Or stab... Thistle seeds. Okay, how hard can that be? Um, uh, okay, uh, last two questions I'll take, guys. Don't send out any more because apparently my wife's on her way home and I should start getting ready for her to get home. Um, uh, Marv Diesel writes, better trilogy, Indiana Jones or Lord of the Rings? I'm going to go Lord of the Rings, and that's painful to say because the Indiana D Jones trilogy is so freaking good. But I, I honestly... It pains me to not say Indiana Jones, but it's also very easy to not say Indiana Jones. Lord of the Rings, I think, other than Star Wars, is the greatest trilogy of all time. All three films nominated for Best Picture. Return of the King won Best Picture. Return of the King won 11 Academy Awards. No film in history has ever won more Academy Awards than Lord of the Rings Return of the King, winning 11. Not a single film in film history has ever won more Academy Awards than 11. I mean, it's just crazy, right? So for a lot of reasons, me, I mean, all film subjective, somebody else might say um, the Nana Jones trilogy. And that's not a wrong answer. That's, that's perfectly great. I mean, I, it's hard to argue against it. But yeah, for me, I'll go with The Lord of the Rings. Um, let's see. Soggy Mini Muffins. I love the name. Writes, I hope AMC deal pushes Cinemark to improve theirs. I actually like Cinemark's deal. I think Cinemark has a nice little deal. I, the AMC deal would be better, but I think the deal Cinemark is offering up is actually pretty good. I, I think it's a very good little deal. Now, the question is, what will Regal do? Regal, as the second biggest movie theater chain, what will Regal do? And that's really what everybody's going to be wondering. So we'll see where they go with that. Oh, I had another quest open up here. Actually, a couple of quests open. Oh, good. There's a bunch of quests here. Well, I will have to get to these quests next time, folks, because I need to start getting ready for Anne getting home so we can go out and celebrate her promotion. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming along with me, being here and supporting the channel by joining in on the chats like that. I hope you've had a good time playing along with me as I have with you. Um, don't forget, tomorrow morning, the John Campus Show, 8.30 in the morning. Come on by. It's our main show. We'll talk about all the movie news. Got some really interesting stories to talk about tomorrow. So I hope I see you guys there. And of course, we got open mic. I'll be back playing more Warcraft. Lots of stuff going on. So thanks for being here, guys. Really appreciate it. So until next time, bye-bye.